Television. Well, the number one program last night was Christmas with the Australian Women's Weekly. That was a real feel-good show, wasn't it? Yes, it was good, and it had all those wonderful <laughs> Sydney Nine personalities, yeah. you know, Maggie Beers, mm -hmm. and the fellow from the Today Show. Yeah. Name, uh, uh, Steve Liebman. Uh, no. Carl Stefanovic. finished reading the news there about uh, ten years ago. Carl Stefanovic. Yeah. Um, Katrina Roundtree. Yeah, it was. Making these baked ham and the glazed... Yeah. And there's lots of snow and <laughs> greetings from nine. <laughs> it's like Women's Weekly coming to life. Is this the, the way of the future to get television shows just made by companies? I mean, the Christmas with the Australian Women's Weekly, the number one show, really it's just a gigantic great ad for Women's Weekly. Of course it? it is. Um, it's a knockout. I read an article in, I think, the Australian today. Uh, that it's a knockout. Channel 10 only paid a couple hundred thousand bucks an episode, very cheap, half the price that they would have paid, because McDonald's picked up the tab because it's their show. It's McDonald's, it's a knockout. Mm -hmm. so in, other words, in other words, what, the, the McDonald's logo is emblazoned throughout that hour. Yes, everywhere. They even have a McDonald's team, I believe. I didn't get to see it last see, night. I thought to myself, that's a very expensive show to be putting on in a non-rating period over mm. Christmas. Yes. And I said, if we're going to be here, it's a knockout every Sunday night. You, I thought, you, that's very costly. That now stands to reason why it's on. Well, another reason it's, it was cheap or relatively you know, inexpensive to make is that, it, unlike the one hosted by Billy J. Smith, which was done up in Queensland, this was filmed in Thailand. They flew everyone over there, all the Australians. Oh. I think it's Thailand, but it's somewhere overseas, and I'm sure it's Thailand, in a stadium over there where they film. It's a knockout for every other country that does it. Isn't so that it's the interesting? the same sets, the same everything. Isn't that? And what a fabulous idea for that, fran for that franchise. Yes, and, and they filmed it overnight as well. So as soon as the sun goes down, they start filming because it looks better with the yes, black night above. of course it does. So, yes, interesting ways to keep the cost down. Isn't but I'm just, I'm just wondering now if we could go to Bunnings and say, hey, Bunnings, we'd like to produce the Bunnings Hour hosted yeah. by Bruce and Phil. Yes, mm -hmm. the yeah. tool shed. Yes, yeah. the, the tool shed. And Bunnings we'll tool shed. Chinese group and they can do it for Hong Kong and <laughs> Alaskans. Yes, we just, just need a set somewhere. Yeah, Bunnings so store. just needs an idea like that, you see, right. to, uh, to own a franchise. And Bunnings can amortise it. Right? Yes, yeah. it, it's the, it's, I think it's the way of the future yeah, because for television. As, as you probably know, you cannot go to any TV station today with an idea for a program, or even a pilot to make a program, unless you have the finance already, which you, the compu or the producer, have to provide. Is that right? Oh, that's how it is today. Mm. And, unless it's a tried and true formula from another country. But if it's something new, well, where's the money? Well, All right. I'm looking forward to the Ian Reid family hour. Yes. Christmas with the Australian Women's Weekly, number one. Number two, Bunnings Tool Shop. Uh, <laughs> number two, <laughs> Nines News Sunday. 60 minutes next, then 7's News.